Coming up, Pete Price is back with fireworks and we tell you how you can get behind the women's derby at Anfield this Sunday. First up though, big week in Liverpool. Christmas officially launches on Friday. Of course, tons going on. Lots of new stuff this year as well. So the Polo Adventure takes over Shivas Park with the Christmas Express and as well as an international light show coming to Liverpool City Centre with Liverpool Bid. There's a walk through Christmas tree in Williamson Square and as well as that, a big tunnel of light is going to take over at College Lane. It all starts on Friday. Friday, 50 metres long, full of LED lights and a music show every single evening between Friday and Boxing Night, four times a day from 4.30pm. So check it out and of course Liverpool One launch Christmas with one big street party on Friday afternoon from 4. Oh can't wait, Instagram is going to be full of Christmas by half five on Friday night. <laughs> now talking Sunday, history is going to be made at Anfield. It is the Barclays FA Women's Super League derby between the Reds and the Blues. For the first time this is all the girls on the pitch and we want to see Anfield rocking. Uh, there's still some tickets available for the cop, it's just a five a day. That's amazing. That. And the kids go free as well but if if you can't get there, we can tell you that you can watch it free online through the FA Player. So it's it's blues and reds, isn't it? It's bragging rights, whether it's men or women, we want you all to get down there. Wouldn't it be great to get that, that buzz on normal derby day at Anfield, whether it's at Anfield or somewhere in the city watching the game live. Uh, the next derby, of course, the blokes derby is yep. the 4th of December, but let's get behind the women this Sunday. Great to see Sean Cox there yesterday, which was fantastic. I don't know who was happier, Jürgen <laughs> or Sean on that photo that's doing the rounds, but fingers crossed. Mr Cox and his family are back very soon. Yeah, now we've got to talk Queens, as we do. Uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, is set to dazzle audiences at the Liverpool Empire this week. Opens tonight, runs until Saturday, and it's produced by the one and only Jason Donovan. Uh, it also stars Strictly star Joe McFadden. And if we talk to anybody about this, it's got to be the man who's seen it no less than nine times. Wow. Our very own Queen of the Desert, it is Mr Pete Price. Welcome back. Hi. Oh. I've got to tell you, it is <laughs> remarkable. It's the most exciting, fun, you can't sit in your seat. There's a point inside to the story, but the music and the, the eye candy on stage, oh my Lord. It's the only it reason he goes. It's magical, it's magical. The way it's set, the way it's set. But I saw the original and people used to come dressed in drag and also changing the toilet to get into drag and then watch it. It is exciting. Get to the Empire, I love it. It's so until this weekend. Um, we just got to check you're okay. You haven't broken any bones you haven't bruised yourself after being trapped in that tube door which we captured on camera just a couple of weeks ago in the London Underground. Are you okay? I'm okay, thank you very much. Uh, a lot of mixed reviews about it. I did get stuck in the door um, and it was frightening and I think the laughter afterwards was a nervous laughter not from me, from you and the others. But well, can we just make it clear, we did check you were absolutely fine and we were, we'd all been on a big day out and a night out for some awards in London and you, you were all right. Must have missed that bit. <laughs> now the thing is... <laughs> right, before I have a rant... Go on. You don't know about this, but I've got to tell you. Right, you ready for this? Stay with it. Okay. Here's my first name drop. Sharon Osborne. Wow, okay. So she sent me a message last night. Yeah. Hi darling, my plastic surgeon has offered me a free facelift voucher to use for Christmas as I'm the most loyal customer, but I think my current face will do me till Easter. So I thought, could I give it you as a Christmas present? I thought you needed it last time I saw you. <laughs> so I think about it, what can I say? So I then put laugh, 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 I'm speechless. 10 minutes later, I got this back. Hello, it's Sharon Osborne here. Earlier tonight, you got a text from me about cosmetic surgery voucher. Don't worry, it's not real. It's just been part of the Michael McIntyre show in the UK, where I gave him my phone and sent uh, texts. I chose you as one of the contacts, as I thought you'd enjoy a laugh. Aww. So do you get the facelift? Because you, you could potentially Aww. do with one. What facelift? <laughs> It's a setup for Michael Matthews. Fingers crossed. Can You're the third that? person that said that to me. <laughs> Can't we see that on TV? Rant time! Right, rant, rant of the week. We're bringing it back. Fireworks. I think they should stop. Okay. I think that the council did the most amazing, amazing uh, river A festival. river of light, it yes. beautiful. And I think it's, it's still going on. There'll be fireworks tonight. It's two weeks on either side. It's scary. When I was a kid, fireworks were little rip raps, and they, now they're like weapons. And I think they should ban fireworks and only have demonstrations. You made a good point earlier because cause Sainsbury's actually yeah. banned yeah, the absolutely. sale of fireworks yeah. this year. So, so if Sainsbury's can do it, because they yeah. must make some Money, these supermarkets they lost a lot of money because of that so so if they can yeah. do it then surely other places as and the other thing the cost 
Where do all these people get the money from? I thought they were all skint. I thought most of them were... Don't go down that road. Yeah, yeah. So I thought they were skint. So, and fireworks are not cheap. They are expensive. So, so let us know your thoughts. Should fireworks be banned? We can still hear them overnight night in Liverpool. Bonfire night nearly a week ago and still lots of bangs across okay. across the city. What else is happening? Pete Price is dead. Coming to the Royal Court. Can you give us any more info on Leanne Campbell's brand new show? I play the corpse, leave it at that. Play the corpse. <laughs> Can't wait, that's coming in 2020. Anything else on this week? Oh yeah, some of the uh, the light switch on on Thursday at Birkenhead in Grange yeah, Road. And then I'm going to get involved with the Friday, which you'll be hosting. Yes. So I'm one of the people, because I'm playing a dragon this year. I'm Puff the Magic Dragon. Lots more info what's on this Grimbo on our website, Pete Price. We'll see you next week. It's good to have you back. Watch out for tube doors. More online as always, theguideliverpool.com. Cheers, Pete.